Today we removed the koi fish out of the 160 gallon fish tank. Oh, just out of reach. Koi off the streets. Oh, this is so cool. And these are directly from Thailand. Oh God. Uh. Today we removed the koi fish out of the 160 gallon fish tank. Someone's here. And we are joined today by Dude! Oh no, it actually opened up! Yes! Dude, I got that for you! I don't drink Starbucks anyways. Oh, it was really good. Get a spoon real quick and try some. Alright, I got you. All right. Bro, this is so a, gross! A I'm try that? It's, uh, trust me, it's my own creation. It has protein shake in it. Fire. What else? What else Isn't is it fire? Here, just take the last one. Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to yet another video here today. We are taking the koi fish out of this tank. Now I'm gonna give you a better explanation on why we're doing so in just a little bit when we get to the place that we're bringing them to. But uh, I brought the cooler out of the shed and uh, now we are here with the net and next to the koi. I'm gonna net every single one of these out individually and then bring them to that cooler. Hopefully this goes very easily. I'm hoping so. Who is squirming? Mm. Boom, got him. There we go, we got one. All right, we got Mo, which is a little butterfly koi. You gotta be real gentle with koi fish. Everything's got to be real slightly gentle. There he goes, just like that. We'll bring all five in that exact way. Oh, just out of reach. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take off with him. And boom, it's gone. From the other way. There he goes. That is the broken tail one. You ready? You can see the little messed up tail on him. There's numero dos. They're so cool, dude. I love them. It's gonna be so hard, dude. These are the hardest ones to get right here. Oh. I don't want to stress them, you know. Take your time, take your time. Good, keep them corralled over there. There you go, there you go. Pin him, pin him, pin him. These things should be in the NFL, I'll tell you that. For real. Dude, holy oh. cow. Oh my god! <laughs> he just took your ankles. How are they so fast? He just took your ankles, bro. There he is, there he is. Net. Scoop up. Got there it. he is. Right, well, Number three. That was the fastest one, dude. That is another butterfly. Super I'm glad we got this dangerous koi off the streets. Oh! Look how colorful that is, dude. Yeah, that thing's beautiful. So sick. How much is that worth? That's three. Oh, they're cheap. Those guys are probably like 30 bucks. A little, little shimmy shake. Oh my god, two for one special. Up, up, up. Oh! oh. What? I, I ended up with zero out of the two for one special. Oh. Damn it. Oh, we almost got out. I saw that. Oh my gosh. All right. Another common down. Here we go. Little scaleless. So Four. We got one more, one more. This is the biggest one, I think. That's probably our biggest one for sure. Kind of looks like a croaker. For real. Right? Snook would definitely munch it. Oh, yeah. One, two, right. three, four, five koi. Yes. Five koi. Cooler set. We're going to head to. Koi Smart, this is where I got all my supplies for the first pond I ever built. Super cool people there, we're gonna head there, talk to Alex, and then uh, get these things into their home for now, because uh, I'll tell you more about it when we get to the store. Good. Crystal clear water, perfect, let's go. All right, that was a easy little transition there. What's up, Brian? We are at Koi Smart right now with all five of our koi fish. They look so cute with the, the clear water and all their colors popping. Anyway, we're gonna roll these guys in there. I believe they have a tank set up for us already, so uh, let's head on in. Five little guys. Nice. Here is the shop, everyone. This is one of the cooler things. This is fake rock. They just made it out of concrete. And you can see a little waterfall going on. Comes down straight under this. And then there they are. And you can also see water coming out of the roots over there. Alright guys, this right here is the mini koi farm. It's like a mini mini little guy, but check this out. Look at them all. So cool. As you can see, I'll probably end up getting somewhat around that size right there. That, that little bigger one. Somewhat like that. You can see them now. But I bought those ones out of here. And look how small these little guys are, dude. 
This is so cool. I bought the ones in the cooler out of this a while ago, and uh, now we're here to swap those five out for the bigger ones once the pond gets rebuilt, because we're gonna get the koi's for the big pond this time instead of the mini pond. I wanna do a lot more mollies, platies, that sort of thing in the mini pond, and really dedicate that big pond to a lot of that color to be at least moving on the top. We could always have thumps. Thumb will definitely be down there on the bottom, but I want some action, something moving in that big pond. So we're gonna get, we're gonna kinda do a little uh, swap thing going on. Massive, so we just ran outside real quick. Look at this massive pondless waterfall right here. This is their outdoor pond right here. Super cool. The skimmer is actually under that artificial uh, fiberglass rock right there. There's a little feeding rock going on. Super cool waterfall. And uh, here's the tank back here somewhere. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, this is where my fish will be. What's going on here? Did I come and this is what happens. Quarantine tank, Paul Caferos. That's where it's at. Koi Smart hooking it up. Like always. So this is like a little filter we got going on here. Yeah, it's a I'm just gonna put thing. five Very little koi's in there. It's shaded from the giant building. So we're good. We've got a bunch of live plants here as well. Lilies, big rocks to build your own pond. All these different pumps. Pretty much everything you could think of in here. Look at this. This is where I bought the waterfall. Pretty much everything. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, one of the goldfish made it over to this side. So they're rancher goldfish, or lion head, they bubble head, people call like different things. But, bubbles. They look like those dogs. So down. fat, yeah. dude. But a lot, these are, people handle these a lot. So yeah, no, you can literally like, yeah, you like hold them, scoop them up and hold them. And I would, I would, Alex can probably like let you know, but I don't know if we can do that yet or now if they're in quarantine. Yeah, I, don't I got gotcha. you. I didn't clean my hands, but yeah, you scoop them up and they, they just kind of sit in your hand and sometimes you see them and they're, other side or upside down, they're they're so ugly. They're cute. Oh, uh, for real? Them. On his tail? Yeah, he's full. So this one, I like the markings on this. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Yeah. The little sparkles mm -hmm. on the top. And there's spot. He's got one white. And some spot. of these are sold. You said? Yeah, the two the two black ones are sold, and then I'm not sure which ones the client picked up. And these are directly from Thailand. They are yeah. straight from Thailand. Straight from Thailand. That's interesting. What do you think, Ryan? I think we should get one. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right, let's roll them out to their. Temporary home. Quarantine tank. Little five little guys. Grab them. Should we just pick them up? Ryan is doing the deeds. Just gonna scoop them with your hand. Right into the quarantine. Boink. I'm gonna go twosies yeah, on them. Oh! Oh my god. Little oh, jumpy place. fella. That's my favorite one right there. That is cool. Look at the colors on that thing. Two so far. I'm like grabbing croaker out of a live well. In like crystal clear lot, yeah, for real. In crystal clear <laughs> water, they look so cool. With no like bottom. Oh, this is my favorite that's, one. Yeah, that's the biggest one. I He's think. cool. There's, there's four right there. Five. Yeah. Ready? That was a little Mo. That's his name. Here we go. They got the perfect. Hole. Five in the PC quarantine tank. That's where it's at. Here we go. All right, should we just like dump this out right here where the drain is? Yeah. Oh God. Uh, it's okay. It's good. All right. Cool. At least it's a drainage system right there. There they are, and of course I didn't bring a GoPro. But they look pretty happy. They're all potted up. I just think they look a lot cooler when there's no color on the. It's just either blue or white bottom. Yeah, the blue bottom. Definitely. Yeah. Like brightens everything. All right, so about the water. So we pre-treat the pond, so yeah, so they're not gonna shock out or have any I didn't. I didn't know, I just put them in the <laughs> No, you're good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> the PC look, quarantine tank. I keep look, showing them. Exactly, they look super <laughs> happy there and we'll keep them here and keep them ready to go for, for the next pond. Yes, exactly. Hopefully uh, we'll even grab some bigger ones while we come back here Heck yeah. for the new big pond. Yep. Here we go. We got a little angelfish right here. And of course the platies. Literally my favorite. So, no, uh, no physical nope. pump, just an air pump. Just the air? Yep, that's it. And that's what keeps that water crystal clear. Yes, sir. It's awesome. And that is gonna do. So to sum it up for all those who may be confused, 
those fish are staying here for the time being whether I do take those back for the new pond or not but we are for sure gonna get some bigger koi's when the new big pond does come don't worry thump is gonna be in there with those bigger koi's we'll be sure to get the sizes perfectly thanks again to koi smart guys you can come over here it's in Riviera Beach check it out super cool shop they're always so helpful to us they even made a sign for the freaking quarantine tank that the fish are in right now super dope Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, join the family. As always, until next time,